Now, Singapore's core inflation in April has risen to a new 10-year high, driven by rising prices in food, retail and energy. Economists expect prices to keep rising as borders reopen and tourism demand picks up. Isha Rodney reports. Climbing costs have pushed Singapore's core inflation to 3.3% on year in April. This is a new high from the 2.9% in March and the highest since core consumer prices hit 3.5% in January 2012. Core inflation excludes accommodation and private transport costs. However, small increases in car prices have helped to keep overall inflation unchanged from the previous month, at 5.4%. Economists say it's also thanks to the central bank's move to appreciate the Singapore dollar in April. If we just compare this with uh, the rest of the other global commodity prices, you know, for example, oil prices have actually gone up by over 60%. You know, in April, and we also saw that food inflation has gone up by over by almost 30 percent, uh, which means that the rather uh, more expensive Singapore dollar really seen from the tightening of the monetary policy uh, in the last three meetings by the MAS has been effective in mitigating inflation risk. Still, bottlenecks in supply chains and high global commodity prices are expected to keep the pressure on inflation. And he adds that monetary policy alone will not be enough to cushion Singapore from the impact of rising global prices. Our hands are tied in terms of uh, trying to mitigate really uh, global inflation simply because we are a small player. We do not dictate oil prices. We do not dictate food prices. We are price takers. The only effective way perhaps really you know, it's to go through the monetary policy and try to mitigate import prices. Prices have risen across most major sectors, including accommodation, which saw stronger increases in housing rents. Industry experts expect costs to continue to increase as borders reopen, with greater consumer demand from inbound travellers. This is especially so for the services sector. As travel activity normalizes, businesses may have uh, scaled down on activities, but now they have to scale up rapidly again. So this brings along increased transaction costs. At the same time, when the demand is normalizing, it also can trigger higher price pressures. For the full year, overall inflation is forecast to come in at between 45 and 5.5%.